Hey guys, it's Krista here. Um, so yeah, this is gonna be pretty much my, well it already is my vlog channel, but if you're new here, you probably came from my other channel, um, where I've been doing pregnancy updates. And yeah, basically I'm moving to this channel now because this is more of my vlog channel. And this is where I'm gonna put all my updates on the new baby and life with two kids and all that. So, yeah, welcome if you're new. <laughs> um, yeah, sorry this is getting up so late, but it's just been a really crazy week. Um, Hi. I will explain what happened as I get into my daily vlogs. I have like two weeks to make up for, but um, when I get into my daily vlogs, basically, um, let's just say that I had an emergency hospital stay and surgery um, like a week after he was born. So, um, yeah, it's been a little bit crazy, but... Okay, so as promised, I'm going to talk about my labor and delivery. That's what this video is. Um, but this is just going to be like a vlog of it. I'm just going to talk about it. Um, and then I'm going to, I'm probably going to post like an actual footage of the labor and delivery. But um, I'm going to add that in with the blog post once I get that up. So footage of labor and delivery won't be in this video, but it will be in the next video that I post. Yada yada. But anyways, here's the vlog of my labor and delivery story. Okay, so as I said, it kind of was all crazy. Um, I had bait in four weeks early. So, yeah. This is kind of exciting. I feel like I'm like talking to an audience even though there's not. <laughs> anyway, okay. So, we got invited to our friend's cabin that weekend. And um, as I mentioned in my last pregnancy vlog, my 35-week pregnancy vlog, um, I had been having lots of Braxton Hicks contractions, but they were never regular. I had called my doctor. She knew, she knew about it. I was having a lot of cervical pain. Um, she basically just wanted me to wait it out until my appointment on the 24th, uh, my 36-week appointment, and where they would check to see if I'm dilated. Yada yada. So that's what we were doing. But basically, if my contractions got close together, um, then I would need to worry. But they never really did. They were just constant, annoying, irritating, painful. I was pretty much miserable that week. Um, so anyways, we got invited to this cabin and I figured, why not? I'm going to be miserable here. Might as well go be miserable somewhere fun. <laughs> so we went out to the cabin and I figured if all else fails, if I did go into labor, little did I know, that it's only like an hour, 45 minute drive back home, so it wouldn't be that big of a deal. Anyway, so we get to the cabin, we got there late Friday night, um, whatever, hung out, yada yada. That night, um, I was having a lot of pain, like painful contractions. Like I think these were like legit contractions. I did not sleep at all that night because I kept counting contractions, but they never were close together and regular. Like they just, they would kind of start to regulate and then stop and then kind of start to regulate and then stop. Like just annoying. I didn't even sleep that night. So anyways, come Saturday, I figured we'd just hang out for the day, probably that night, and then just go home because I didn't want to risk another miserable night of not sleeping. And I don't know, I just, I just wasn't, it was just, I just felt weird. I don't know how to explain it. I just did not want to be there, which is weird because, like, I was having fun. It wasn't that I want, didn't want to be there. It was just, like, this weird feeling of, like, I needed to go home. That, that's all I, that's how I can explain it. It was like, I don't know if it was like intuition or whatever, but I just felt like I needed to go home that night. So anyway, hung out, whatever. At about 12.30, Jeff had fallen asleep at like 9 or something with Braylee. And um, at about 12.30, I was like, okay, let's go home. Um, yada, yada. I went and got Jeff. We got in the car and said goodbye. Literally, as soon as we hit the road. Bam. Contractions. As soon as we hit the road, okay. Um, I was like, okay, whatever. These will go away like they always do. I started pounding water and Gatorade because um, keeping hydrated keeps your contractions away. Or dehydration can bring contractions. Anyway, my contractions were like literally right off the bat three minutes apart. Like, they, did, they didn't even, like, kind of get start out far and then get close together. They, they started out three minutes apart. And I was just like, you've got to be kidding me. This is not happening. Like, it's, I'm not having a baby. I'm only 36 weeks. I was 36 weeks that day. Um, well, yeah, because it was midnight, so we go into Sunday. 
like an hour drive later, they just got more painful and they, they stayed three minutes apart, two minutes apart, but they were just getting more intense and I was like, and it was an hour, they always say after an hour of that going to the hospital, so I was like, alright honey, go straight to the hospital, they're just going to send us home, yada yada, here's another bill, let's just go to the hospital just to be safe. Because um, if you know, I had a little pregnancy scare at 24 weeks, or a... Uh, yeah, at 24 weeks I started bleeding. Anyway, that's what I mean by another bill. Okay, so anyway, we're heading... Jeff's like speeding down the canyon. And I'm just like, please, I don't want to die. Like, go slower. And then I'm just like, I don't want to pain. And he's just like, you can't like... You can't be sitting here like being in pain, making all these sounds and have me go slow. Like, he, <laughs> it was funny. Anyway, so we get to the hospital. It was probably about... 2.45 a.m. that we got to the hospital. Yeah, I was totally expecting to just go home. So they said they would check me and then we'd go from there. So they checked me. I was at a stretchy three is what she said. I was at almost a four. And I, I mean, I wasn't really surprised by that because of all the cervical pain I had been having, but I wasn't expecting it to be that big. Like I was almost like halfway there. Um, and she's like, okay, well, we'll keep you for an hour. If you've progressed in an hour, then we will admit you and you are having a baby. I was like, okay, there's no way. There's no way I'm going to progress. So an hour goes by. She comes and checks me. Sure enough, I'm at like a full on four going on five. So she admitted me. I sent out the text to all my sisters, all my 20, 100 sisters that wanted to be in the room. And yeah, so we began. So yeah, my contractions kept getting really intense. Um, with Braley, I got my, epi they told me I could have my epidural as soon as I wanted. And so I got my epidural before I even really felt contractions. So this time I had been feeling all these contractions for the hour and a half or two hours. And then my contractions were intensifying and I was just like, what is this? I, they get me my epidural <laughs> and they wouldn't give it to me. And so anyway, at about 3.30, um, 3.30 is when I was officially admitted. They called the doctor and yeah, she officially admitted. They started my IV um, at 3.45. They gave me fentanyl, I think is what it was, just to kind of take the edge off the pain. That was the weirdest thing ever. Can I just tell you that? Like, I just immediately like went loopy and it wasn't fun. <laughs> like, I could still feel my contractions. I was just like loopy. It was really, I don't know, it was, it's hard to explain. Man. Don't, don't do fentanyl, it doesn't really help. So at 8 o'clock, I was dilated to a 7. So I kept progressing every hour I was dilated another centimeter. Then at 8 o'clock, I was at a 7. Then at 9 o'clock, I was still at a 7. I basically stalled out. Um, and the lady was checking me, and she basically said that, um, <laughs> what did I tell you? Anyway, she basically said that Baden was face up, right? That's the wrong way, right? Whatever, whatever way he's not supposed to be, he was. He was face up. And um, so I'm a worry wart. I, so I just immediately, like, freaked out. I don't know. My mom and my sisters kept, like, asking if I was okay. I think I just had this, like, shocked look on my face. I don't even know. And as she's talking about how he's face up and so everyone started talking about you know my sister-in-law's like horror story because her baby was face up and she just had this horror story delivery because he got stuck and anyway so I was just immediately like freaking out about it so anyways around 9 15 they started um Pitocin to get me kind of just moving because I had stalled out you know and at 10 30 I started progressing um and I started progressing really fast um, and so Baden's heart rate be kept uh, dropping, which was really scary. Um, and they had to put like a the head monitor on to just kind of more properly watch his heart rate. And um, anyways, I was just like I remember it all, but like I was just like in shock of it all. Like I was just freaking out. Um, his heart rate kept dropping, but it was just because he was progressing so quickly. Like all of a sudden I just started dilating really quick and he just started moving down the birth canal really quick. Um, and so, yeah, it was just kind of uh, scary. So at 10.50, I was complete. Um, we just, my doctor, my OB was 20 minutes away and so we were just gonna wait for her, which it actually, I was happy about that because I kinda wanted 
things to just stretch open on their own and just kind of get all settled in instead of tearing. And also, um, my amazing friend Nikki Hatch, um, she, I invited her to come into the room, um, to be there and to help do pictures, um, because she's amazing at taking pictures, even though she won't admit it. Um, so, yeah, and she was up at the cabin with us, and so I wasn't sure to be in the labor. Anyways, long story short, she was trying to rush down in the morning when she woke up, and, um, yeah, I didn't think she was going to make it because, um, of the time frame, but we had to wait for my doctor, and anyways, Nikki got there in time, like, right before the doctor, and it was amazing. She got amazing pictures, um, so anyways, the doctor got there, we started pushing, and like I said, I was already really scared, freaking out, um, but it actually, deliver, actual delivery went really well. I was only pushing for, like, 15 minutes, I think, um, and... Yeah, it went really well. I was so happy about that. Um, and it was funny because Jeff actually, he freaked out because he's like, he, when Baden turned on his own, I guess, and Jeff's just like, wow, like he just like flipped on his own and, um, does that, is that how it's supposed to happen and yada, yada, yada. And anyway, I just really lucked out. He just kind of turned on his own, came out properly and, um, yeah, it was amazing. So, that's pretty much my labor and delivery story. Um, like I said, I will post actual footage of the labor and delivery, but I'm going to put add that in with my blog post. So, when you see that, I will have a link to my blog post where you can see all the amazing pictures and um, actual footage. And, yeah, sorry this took so long to get up, but it's, like I said, it's just been a crazy week. So, um, yeah, that's my story. Stay tuned for the following video that's going to be more exciting. Um, and yeah, make sure you subscribe if you care to see updates on Baby Baden. And I'll show you him real quick. You'll see lots of Baden in, in all my vlogs. <laughs> He's my little pumpkin today. Mm. He's my little pumpkin today. <laughs> He's hungry. So I better get to feeding him. Um, so yeah, make sure you subscribe. I'm going to start doing more daily vlogs. They're going to be more exciting. I have a little camera that I'm going to take around with me and get daily life type stuff. So yeah, that's it. So I guess we'll just talk to you guys when I post my actual footage of living delivery. <laughs> Bye guys.